Hello everyone, this is Dr. Chirag. So today we are going to learn about how to work on a data frame, how to work on a data set which we import in R and uh, how to refer to the columns of that particular data set that is the variables of that particular data set or the rows of that particular data set, how to work on data after importing the data. Okay, so let's not waste much time and start importing the data. If you want to understand how to import data in R, then you can see my video on how to import data in R, okay? So let's not take much time. So here I'm changing the name to demog, okay? Just to make it easy and convenient for me to refer to the data, okay? So now here, so this is the data set. In case if I want to see the data set, just click on the name of the data set and you will get the view, clear views. And this is the beauty of RStudio that you can easily see the data on which you are working. So as you see here, it is written about the description of the data that is 90 observations of five variables. So there are five variables, yes, gender, age category, occupation, calorie intake and weight, yes. And let's check whether it has 90 observations as well. Just scroll down this and say, yes, it is 90 observations. Yes, uh, 90, great. So, uh, and one more thing, you know, in R, a data set is also called a data frame. So this is the language of R. So this data frame is an array of a data where the observations are you know given in in the rows and the variable names are given in the column okay now having loaded the data having you know imported the data in r now how to start working on these variables for example i would like to see you know i would like to work on this variable named gender i would like to work on this variable name say weight say for example i want to calculate the mean weight of the entire data so how would you you know refer to this particular variable so let's start working on that this and let's see in case if i write gender means you know if if we do not write print sorry if we do not write print and write direct gender even then we get the result okay so let's write gender okay and uh, okay and see what happens whether R recognize this or not and press enter. So it says that you know object gender not found. How is it possible? You know we already have uploaded the data and R is showing me that yes there are five variables and there are five variables I can see as well but still it's saying that gender is not available this is not done. So okay fine so let me ask again R do you know uh, the the mock data so it and if i press enter it says yes i know this is your demo data so it is quite surprising that r does understand you know uh, demo data but it is not able to identify the variables of the data then how to work on that so in case if I want to change this data, I cannot even change. I want to change this value. I cannot. Can I do that? No, it is not. It's I'm not able to change. So how to work on this data? So uh, let's first understand which is that language, you know, through which I can communicate uh, with R that, you know, I am talking about the variables of the data. And the, that language is actually in case if I use the, this particular symbol dollar so this dollar symbol this dollar symbol you know means means that we are referring to the we are referring to the variables of the variables of the data set variables of the data set so what does that mean okay uh, let's understand that and let's you know and how to use uh, this dollar so the, the process is just write the name of the data set and then press dollar the time I 
press dollar sign and I put dollar sign here along with the name of the data set you know it suggested me five you know <clears throat> variables now what does that mean these variables are nothing but the variables of the data set so just see gender age category so the time I put this symbol dollar it you know R understands that yes I'm referring to the variables so it has suggested me the name of the variables so I said okay fine thank you so much for suggesting me and will you please show me the gender so then R said yes this is the gender okay so I can see here that you know uh, uh, R has started understanding my language so then I said okay fine can you please show me about show me about this variable age category so I just pressed you know dollar with the name of the data set and I pressed age category and again I pressed enter it said yes sir this is the age category so that is wonderful that is wonderful okay so it means if I want to understand if I want to communicate with R and I would like to refer to a variable I will use dollar sign so can I do it for continuous variable uh, variables as well no, because these three variables are categorical in nature gender age category and occupation let's talk about these continuous variables that is calorie intake and weight so can I ask R to show me these variables as well say the mog dollar okay uh, calorie intake so it's, it's it showed me the values of the calorie intake it means R understands irrespective of whether the variable name whether the variable type is categorical or continuous R behaves the same as far as the dollar sign is concerned that is the wonderful thing I came to know now so let's remove this now you will press control L so everything has gone you know so let's talk about how to work on you know okay fine this is the one way of referring to the data set uh, to referring to the columns of a data set means variables of the data set so what is the you know symbol that we use to refer to our data to the columns of the data set we use dollar sign so let's talk about is there any other way which which is far simpler because sometimes this dollar sign is very you know very tidy very cumbersome kind of how can I write this so in that case you can you know uh, attach your data in case if you attach it's, it's simpler but it is you know you act, there is a catch here we will discuss later so in case if I attach the same data set so what I have done I've written a function named attach okay and then I wrote the name of the data set so now this attach function is there so in case if I press enter now if you see here nothing has happened if you see in the environment pane nothing has happened if you see in this you know script pane nothing has happened nor here so it means that you know something has happened but some command actually has gone right but something must have happened because in case if there is something wrong either R has given me some uh, you know error message or some warning message since no warning or no error message has come it means the command has been run okay so number what does that mean now since the data has been attached so now I can directly refer to the to the columns I can directly refer to the variable names can I do that let's see G E N D E R gender great now I'm just writing gender earlier when I wrote gender it said it said see gender is not an object here so now in case if I write age category so it says yes it's there so that's a wonderful thing so now what is the catch so in case if I write no wait just see w e i g h wait and it says yes wait is already is already there so let me remove this okay so what does that mean in case if I refer to the if I want to refer to the variable names of a data set then I can attach that data set so what is the command a double t a c h so this is the command 
But the catch here is after working on the data set, you have to detach the data set as well. Don't forget to detach in case if you do not detach, you know, you will face some problem and what would be the, those problems that we will discuss later. So always after attaching the data set, you have to detach the, sorry, you have to the you have to detach the data set as well so detach the mock now it has been uh, detached so in case if again ask r can you show me gender it says gender is not an object why because the data says data set has been detached let's attach again attach the mock so this is how you know now can i can i write gender now it's saying Yes, sir, I now recognize gender. So this is how you can refer to the uh, names of the uh, no, uh, uh, variables of a data set. Okay, I, I hope that you will, uh, you, you will like this particular video. However, how to work on these uh, uh, columns, how to work on these variables that we will discuss in the next video. Thank you so much.